This is ET Prepper. Well, this is my uh, Volkswagen diesel with a 1.6. It is my, uh, oh, somebody's going to go after something. <laughs> the cat is stalking. Just like Uncle Sam is stalking us with a, the NSA. Only kidding. Well, actually not totally kidding. What I want to show you here is this car is set up to burn waste vegetable oil. This is a filter. You can see down there, you see a copper coil run around the filter to keep it hot. And then there's different plumbing, a couple of solenoid valves right there and there to, for the return line and the fuel line. Where I can flip a switch, which I'll show you in a second. Then flip over to waste vegetable oil. I'm going to show you with my helpful assistant how to the, we'll fuel this car up. This tank has a couple of things. Of course, it's got the vent right here, fuel gauge in it. This is the uh, fuel line, main fuel line that comes in. And you can see it travels inside the, the antifreeze line. It tr so this travels inside the antifreeze line. You can see the plumbing there. And then it runs through the car, goes down inside there and up inside the car and through into the engine compartment. I wanted to show you this. Here's those lines I was talking about, the heater lines and fuel lines that are running through the car. It really doesn't bother me. It's, a, it's in the driver compartment when I'm driving. I actually rest my foot on it. The antifreeze actually circulates inside this drum that's been turned into a fuel tank. So we are going to finish fueling it up. I'll show you some oil here. I have got some oil right here. It's, it was collected from a restaurant and I've let it set for over three months. The suggestion is if you don't have a centrifuge or if you feel like using a lot of filters, which I don't, you let it settle for about three months. And so now it's time to pump clear oil from that's waste vegetable oil from a restaurant. This is hydraulic oil. And I've collected this, it's 200, uh, 260 gallons. And again, I'm letting that settle because it's, it's used oil but it's hydraulic oil, fairly clean. So then um, uh, in time, I will be burning it in one of the Volkswagens that I have or a pickup truck or whatever. And then I'm gonna show you how clear that is. Hopefully you can see it on video. Hopefully I don't make a mess. Look how clear that oil is. That's waste French fry oil. And by the way, when you're, <laughs> when you're running, the exhaust actually smells good. Now it's all put away. I got the cap back on it. It's tightened down there with the rubber seal. The proper type of rubber seal that veggie oil doesn't attack. And then the, the towel for a little bit of thermal stuff. It's not that cold yet. Obviously it's fall. Getting to, Well, actually it is fall now. So the temperature isn't that much of an issue yet. But there you go. I just thought I'd give you a little peek into inside of how I run the, uh, the veggie oil system in my car. Let me show you something. I'll show you the gauges. Normal Volkswagen diesel, and I've got a fuel switch and a return switch. So once the gauge reads a certain amount of temperature, uh, which is just over 100, then I turn the fuel on. And then I flip the return as well. And then at the end of the day, when I'm done driving, and I want to shut it off and I switch over to diesel. You got to switch over to diesel because if you don't, you could have, if it's a cold morning, you could hurt your injection pump because the oil is too thick. That's the whole purpose of the heating the vegetable oil because it's too thick. Even the hydraulic oil that I showed you is just too thick for the injection pump to run. This system is what makes it able to run any kind of oil I want. So it gives me lots of options. I like options, as I said before. So now here's the fuel gauge. Let's check our fuel. There we go. Full. Okay, it's nighttime and we're cruising in the uh, Volkswagen. Now the uh, fuel temperature is up to 120, 125, 30 degrees. Tank's full, we're ready to roll. So now I can flip the switches over which are you can't see it in the dark but the blue one is fuel and the red one is return so 
So now we're running on vegetable oil. 